All right, it's uh, a little late tonight, but uh, and I'm actually a little tired, but I'm just restless. So I'm gonna be doing a video that I've been meaning to do, and that's a review of my ThinkPad X200. I've had this thing for, uh, I don't know, maybe a year or so. Um, of course, this machine, I got it used. It's actually, this thing was made, I think in 2008 or so. So you might think it's ancient technology, but I swear by this thing. Uh, in fact, it's my main machine. I do have a desktop that's very modern, but I do most of my stuff on this. You can do everything my desktop can, and uh, it's strongly recommended. Uh, so what, what kind of features are we talking about? Now, first off, this thing, of course, is a ThinkPad. Uh, if you don't know the ThinkPad brand, if you don't love it, there's something wrong with you. You gotta, you gotta try it. There are a couple reasons for that. Uh, you might not like the big black design, but um, you know, here are the perks, okay? First off, these things are durable. Durable as all hell. I mean, I've taken, this thing has taken a beating, beating over the years. Uh, and in fact, just last week, uh, this thing, I put it on the water cooler. I was getting some water, too lazy to put it somewhere else. It actually fell uh, right on the screen, right up here. And the thing about these, the thing that's so nice is that these things are so modular that if you take any kind of pressure, take any kind of force, uh, the little pieces will just sort of snap out and there's no problem. It's not like a, it's not like a MacBook that's more or less one bi big piece and if you drop it, you're just, it's over. Um, if this thing takes any kind of pressure, the part on the top is just going to sort of snap out and you can just snap it back in. So that's what happened. I uh, didn't have to worry about it. I've also dropped other ThinkPads. I mean, a couple, let's see, a couple months ago, I was running with my ThinkPad 420, had to get to a meeting. Uh, and I fell on my ass, bruised both of my knees pretty bad. Uh, I actually had some trouble walking. And the ThinkPad fell on the ground. And, uh, you know, this, actually the CD drive shot out. And I was just like, oh, God, I totally broke it. It's gone for good. But no, actually, everything snapped right back together. Everything works fine. Uh, so, yeah, ThinkPads are a great brand for this. Uh, and also for Linux users, uh, you will ne pretty much never have any compatibility problems. Um, uh, everything Linux runs pretty well on a ThinkPad. It's just not something I've ever had to worry about. Um, okay, so why specifically the X200? This is by far my favorite um, model. Now the X200 I got for a couple reasons. The chief among which is that you can have this thing Libre booted. So I replaced, um, well actually I didn't do it myself, I had it done by someone else. I replaced the um, uh, BIOS with um, uh, Libre boot. So now I have a faster boot and of course it's free software so I don't have to worry about backdoors or anything theoretical like that. So it's, it's very nice to have. Uh, so that's one of the reasons I got it. Another one is you will notice there's no trackpad and that is not a bug, it's a feature. Uh, because anyone who has uh, found the glory of the track point uh, will know that this thing is totally great and you should switch to this just because it's nice being able to type and you know move your mouse pretty much at the same time. You don't have to go up and down or over to your mouse or something like that. Um, so I never needed a trackpad so I got one without it. If you do want a trackpad, you can get the, um, what is it, X220, that one has it. Or you can get, you know, one of the T models or something like that, T400, T420. Uh, T400 can be Libre booted as well, and it's nice and big and has a trackpad and all that stuff. But um, So what else? Uh, some other, uh, so I think this thing, so we got a 9-volt battery in that thing. On Linux, that'll last maybe a little over four hours. Uh, allegedly... On Windows, it lasts a little longer. I don't know if that's actually true uh, because I hear people say it lasts, oh, it's like nine hours. I don't know if I want to believe that, but uh, allegedly that's the case. Uh, let's see what else. You know, you got all your, you know, get the, your little Think Vantage button. Uh, I've remapped a bunch of these keys, so like, you know, this is another super button just because I want one on this side, or Caps Lock is now Escape, just stuff like that. But, you know, a pretty standard keyboard. You got your back and forward buttons. Uh, stuff like that some nice some nice little things, but you know got your function keys, but it's pretty much to be expected Fingerprint reader. Uh, I never use that and you can get models with webcams. I don't have one uh, But you know that's there um, So as it comes to individual changes as I said one of the great things is like everything's very replaceable You can also go in and make changes pretty easily uh, just unscrew a couple things um, so as I said, this thing's been Libre booted, so someone went in and made some changes to the motherboard. Uh, aside from that, I've also changed the Wi-Fi dri driver so I can get best compatibility with like Parabola or other 
uh, free operating systems. I also have an SSD. Uh, sorry, I'm pointing to it like you can see it, but it, yeah, it's in, it's in there. Um, so I switched to a solid state drive and one of the things, okay, well, I should put it this way. So you might be a little afraid of a computer that's this old, you know, that's obsolete, um, because this thing only has an Intel Core Duo, and there are advantages to that, like uh, i5s and i7s, like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I have computers with them, but they do have back doors. So if you want a truly secure um, computer, it's best to have an Intel Core Duo or something like that, one of the more older models. Um, and you might wonder, oh God, doesn't this thing run really slow or something like that? And it actually doesn't. In fact, this thing is actually faster than my, you know, uh, the 16 gigabyte of RAM uh, i7 desktop, uh, just because of the SSD. I don't have an SSD on that thing. Um, so this thing actually does all my basic computing actually a lot faster just because of the SSD and you know all the processor intensive stuff that I do which I do do a lot I mean I do I compile a lot of programs and I um, do a lot of video editing rendering and stuff um, and you know the i2 the Intel Core Duo does fine so it's nothing to worry about I mean I I think the whole meme of like being afraid of old processors because they're not the most uh, recent. I think it's, I mean, unless you're playing full screen video games like that are very modern, it's not something you really have to worry about. Um, so I think that's about it. Oh, I gotta think, gotta think. I think that's about it. So yeah, I totally recommend any kind of ThinkPad, but the ThinkPad X200 is great. Uh, you can find this thing. This model will go for less than $100 if you want it on YouTube or not YouTube, eBay. I always say, I always get sites mixed up. Sometimes I call like Walmart McDonald's or something like that. I don't know. I just get words mixed. Anyway, who cares? Um, so yeah, this thing's maybe around a hundred. Uh, I also have an X60, which is like a sort of narrower equivalent of this. And that is, that was, I got that for like 30 bucks. Um, oh, oh, there is one more thing I have to say. There are a couple things that this thing does not have. Uh, one is a CD drive. Now, if you want a CD drive, you can get one of the docks um, and you can, you you know, they're usually like 15 bucks or something like that. And you get a dock and you can put this in it uh, and you can put CDs in. So that's fine if you really need that. Um, also, it only has, let's see. Yeah, it only has a VGA. It doesn't have an HDMI, although I think the docks have HDMIs too. Although I've never had to use one, to be honest. I always, VGA is far sufficient. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, it has it has all the card readers you could ever use, including ones that are effectively obsolete, three USB ports. So yeah, this thing's um, all around my favorite computer out there pretty much. Um, so I highly recommend it. Uh, so anyway, well, uh, thanks for watching.